Okay guys, hey. Thought we'd do a little getting ready together video because we all have so many places to go. Cheers, stay safe, stay healthy. Mm. So getting ready with me. Um, all the products today, basically all of them, are going to be beauty counter. This palette is like their huge palette of all their colors. I mean a lot of their colors. And it's basically what I use for just about everything. Um, I'm not a makeup aficionado, so it works for me. These are the brushes I'm using. They're, I don't actually know the brand. I'll maybe look it up. Um, for my eyebrows, I told you I ordered a Beauty Counter um, eyebrow pen, pencil thing, but since my brother did not end up coming for the holidays from America due to the coronavirus, um, I didn't get it yet. But so now I'm using Sable, the color Sable on this palette. That's the most, um, what looks like my eyebrows. And I just use a very thin brush like this to just, um, you know, fill in the brow. I actually didn't used to do this and this was the biggest game changer in my makeup routine. I Now I just always fill in my eyebrows and I'm, wow, what a difference. What a difference, you know? Good, good, good. It's a little bit hard to do makeup looking in a video instead of a mirror, but it's working, it's working. Um, so I really love Beauty Counter. Any safe skincare is definitely the way to go, but um, I don't, I don't know all the ingredients that are safe, and I don't like re like, I don't want to spend so much time researching and researching um, which ingredients to look out for. So I just really trust their brand, um, and they do all that work for me. So that's why I love Beauty Counter. Um, I definitely do try to research some of the products and the chemicals I don't want on me. And Beauty Counter does not use any of that. Their stuff is natural and amazing quality. This stuff lasts me. I go to sleep sometimes in it. I know, not ideal. And then I wake up and it is awesome. Like, still have a face of makeup, okay? So those are my brows. The color is Sable. Love it. And like, look how much better I look already. Wow, makeup works wonders. Okay, Um, wait, is that even what I usually do first? Yeah, I guess maybe I should have done my skin first. The thing is, I did that first because I'm so used to it. Because I don't really do the skin stuff unless I want to be beat. Like if I'm going out to the clubs. No, I'm kidding. But if I'm if I'm like getting dressed up and I'm or something like that, and I'm doing a full face of makeup, I'll use this. I forgot what shade is this. This is the tint skin hydrating foundation. I think it's like a oh here it is honey, honey. Okay, so I'll just use like a bigger brush here and then I just put a few dots. I don't, as I said, I don't generally do my whole face, but I guess I'll try it out for you guys because like now that I'm here doing a makeup tutorial, I better get beat, right? Um, so I'm just going to smear that all over and hope for the best. No, but really what I usually do with that is I'll take my smaller brush and I'll just do like under my eyes and places that I want to more conceal. Um... But again, you do you. Do wherever you want to cover up, you know? If you have any, like, uneven skin tones, this is really good for that. And this is just a really, really lightweight foundation. Um, you put it on and you, you really don't feel like you have face makeup, which is amazing. Okay, I think I see a bit of a difference there, right? Yeah, it just evens out the skin tone a bit. As I said, it's harder to tell a little bit in this camera, but it does give you that smoother look, and it definitely takes away those uneven skin tones. So that is nice. Okay. Awesome. Good. So you can do full face of that or just where you want. And then, also a Beauty Counter product that I love is the Touch Up Concealer Pen. It's awesome. You just press the bottom. Charlotte got into this one, so it's a little dirty, but you just press the bottom and a little bit comes out, and this is just a little more intense. Like, it's it's more of a concealer than the other one. So that's good for those, like, small areas that you just want to conceal. Okay, then I move on to my eyebrows I already did, and then I'll do my... Ooh, checking out my hair. Then I'll do my eyes. 
eyes. I get compliments on them, but I really don't know much of what I'm doing. I have really, you see how big my eyelids are? Like I got a lot of space in here. So I do a whole plethora of colors, okay? First I do this very neutral one, which is called Buff on their palette. They have amazing colors here. And I think I would do different ones if I was really getting spicy with it and like going to a wedding or something. But this is really my everyday eyes. I just, I go pretty natural. So this is buff and I just do see as my eyelids are so large, I just want to sort of make it a skin color-esque so that it's like any red that's there, anything like that, just sort of smooths it all out. Gives it a little pop. Um, and then there's two colors side by side. Slipper, you see these are the most heavily used. Slipper and blush. They're like very soft pinks. I guess you would call it a blush as they so cleverly named it. Blush and slipper. So it's sort of like that ballet slipper if you're used to that nail polish color. Shout out to Essie, right? Um, okay, so then I really just do that on my right above my eyelids, you see? Wow, this tutorial is going to go quick, people. I'm already almost done with my routine. Okay, so I just color it in there so that my eyes are a nice shade of pink. And sometimes I will take this gold. It's called Cava. Oh, there it is, the Cava. And I'll use the other side of the brush. This is their brush. It comes in the kit. And then I will just take the gold and sort of put it in the, just in the crease to just give it a nice gold shimmer there. Um, and that's it for now. Oh, I will probably go back. So as I said, I use the Beauty Counter Eyeshadow Palette as my eyebrows, as my eyes, and as my um, contour. So you will get to the contour, but yeah, I, that palette is very diverse. Mm, okay, then I'll do mascara. Let's do some mascara. Also the Beauty Counter vo Volumizing Mascara. I've had this one since December. So it's on its last leg because I use it every day. So that's pretty good. I got a lot of use out of it. Um, but I did order the this one because I love it. The, volum the yeah, Volumizing Mascara. And they also have another one. So I ordered both. Um, their mascara is amazing. And my friend Adina, who introduced me to Beauty Counter, did point out that, um, like, over-the-counter drugstore mascara, whatever mascara, not a safe skincare mascara, has, like, the same products as Tar. And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't want that anywhere near my eyes. Eyes are super important. So I'll put this on, but as I said, since it's on the last leg here... I use a different mascara that I used to use, which was very empty, and it's just the brush. So I'll just use the brush of this one. I don't even know. I think it's like Clinique. But I just use the brush and go over it a little bit so that I get those. And I know I need to get an eye um, an eyelash curler, but I do have pretty long eyelashes, so this seems to be working for me. But I, I know people die by a by an eyelash curler, but, you know, I'm just not there yet in my beauty routine. I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, as I said, this, when I really do my makeup in the morning, it takes me maybe two minutes. I just do the eye thing really fast with the colors. And then I'll do eyebrows and a little mascara. And that's it. It takes me two seconds. Okay. Um, now I'll do a bit of contour, as I said, just for fun because I'm already here. Let's do it. Let's go crazy with it. Well, so are you liking my layers? I did myself a quarantine haircut. Um, I used to have blonde at the tips of my hair, and my hair was in a ponytail, and I was really over the weird color blonde at the end, so I just cut the end of my ponytail, and this cool, funky hair layer thing happened, and I'm digging it. I don't know about you guys. Okay, let's get to contour. I don't even really know much about contour, but this is what I do because I'm just all for those cheekbones. So if I were to contour... Um, as I said, just when I'm going out now at night on the town, looking my best, I'll do contour. And I'll take this. Actually, this is also like a highlighter brush. You know, you just brush the highlighter on, which I did order Beauty Counter, um, the highlighter. But as I said, it didn't make it here. So I do have an old highlighter that maybe I'll do at the end here. 
which I'll use just on occasion until I get my beauty counter one. So for the contour, I'll use like a darker shade of brown. Actually, sometimes I'll go with that sable, that same one I did for my eyes. See, that's pretty dark. That gives you a nice, a nice cheekbone contour. Again, this is maybe not even the proper placement, but who knows? Who cares? I'm doing it. Oh, one sec. So this little guy, right? This is what I do. I use for my contour, or I'll just like smudge it in with a brush, and then I'll just blend it. That face you make when you contour are really hot. People love it. Okay. See, and that's like a really natural contour. It's really not much, but it does. I think it does the trick. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's good. People do their nose a lot, which I think can look great, but I don't really ever do that to myself. But let's give it a whirl since I'm here anyway. I'm going to take this thin brush. Okay, no, now I'm thinking this is a bad idea. I'm not going to do a nose contour because I don't even really know how, so that can go terrible. But now that I have a little extra on my brush, I will just give these eyebrows one last beautiful finish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I actually did this one time I just left my um, my eye pencil, my eyebrow pencil, and I had some um, eyeshadow with me, and I was like, "This would work," and you know what? It did. Okay, awesome. So that's about it. But if I were to use highlighter, I'll show you what I do. I also take a thin brush, not usually this one, but I'll just use it anyway, and I'll take a bit of the highlighter. And then I'll just put it under my eye like a nice, just to brighten up under the eye. And then I will take my thin, bigger brush again, and I'll just give it a little pat. And then I'll just do a nice little highlight near the eye. A little blend, blend, blend with my blender if I have it here. And that's like really it. Um, but this is fun and I would just talk to you. So I'll just talk for another minute. Now that I have my makeup on, I have absolutely nowhere to go. Okay, so that, um, as you see, a big fan of Beauty Counter. And so now that I'm here, maybe I'm just going to play around a little bit with their eyeshadows because I love this eyeshadow palette. Look how many amazing colors there are. Sorry, it's not so clean around the edges, but... Charlotte, my daughter, got into it, but the good news is that if your kid does get into it, you don't have to worry about them getting the chemicals on them because it's chemical-free. I have used, as you can see, a used one is this um, burgundy, they call it, but it's really like a nice light purple, but I'll, I love purple because my eyes are green, so purple really brings out the green, so I'll just put that on top sometimes too just to give a little oomph. Um, and that is really, really it now. But if you wanted to do a deeper contour, you see I'm just taking my sweet time here. There is a really nice brown that has a little bit of shimmer in it called Brandy and Bittersweet. Oh, Bittersweet is actually the one I, I use for contour sometimes. Now I'm just going to go and ahead and use this brush and only this brush and see if it works. I'm just going to tap some Bittersweet on it. Bittersweet is that dark brown with the um with the sparkle so i'm going to do a tiny bit of that just to make my contour over here a little bit deeper and you see how nicely i even even those out i know you're like not supposed to rub your fingers on your skin but my skin's pretty forgiving like i i do some pretty pretty not okay things over here as you heard i do sometimes go to sleep but you see it actually does have a nice shimmer to it so that like sort of saves you the highlighter and then you can just do do that okay whatever i obviously have to blend it in more so just you know sue me anyway that is my makeup get yourself some i'm not an ambassador yet or whatever they're called there but um i would like to be eventually once all these things blow over hopefully because I definitely support the brand they're doing amazing things for the industry and just put safe products on your face and on your body your skin is your biggest organ it absorbs what you're putting on it right 
Um, so that's me. Beat to the gods and nowhere to go. Thanks for watching.